So this is a question about um, uh, money and just having enough money and fear of getting a job. Um, well, you know, for me, uh, so we're, we're on camera. Uh, you know, if, if there's this thing of just getting enough money to, to pa pass you by, for me that would be um, a thing of two things. One is one's um, the level of repressed feelings and one's belief systems around that. So uh, there's obviously belief systems around just, you know, it's okay just to get by. You know, and so those belief systems will, uh, will uh, predominate because those are the belief systems which drop. So I'd, I'd, I'd cancel my belief in, um, uh, I cancel my belief that I, I just have enough money to get by always, I'm an infinite being. Um, also just doing general ones, like I do, I cancel my belief in poverty, consciousness, uh, scarcity consciousness, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So you can do that, you can hold visualizations of you being more prosperous. If there's, um, if there's this thing of being a jack of all trades, um, and should you focus on one thing? Um, my, my own experience is, um, if you just pursue the spirituality, if you just pursue feeling the feelings and cancelling the beliefs and doing the spiritual work or step tens around it, uh, and get guidance from others, it should clarify as to which, uh, if you should maybe focus on, on one or two of those things, rather than being a jack of all trades. Things about like getting into, getting into uh, a paid job. You know, for me, one of the things, of course, is uh, to get the highest possible vibration, I need to feel that um, around things like money, is like I have to feel like uh, I'm doing the right thing in all my affairs. So if I'm doing anything which I think uh, is dodgy, that will aid guilt. And if I, if I start to have guilt, that will also sabotage my capacity to be prosperous, you know, because it's, it's a low vibration. So sometimes... Uh, you know, it's like finding out, like when I did my step nines, in, in the 12 steps you do step nines, like I, I used to have my own um, business where, maybe, shall we say, maybe the taxes weren't declared in the exact way I'm on video, so I mean the taxes weren't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe the taxes weren't as accurate oh. as they needed to yes. be, <laughs> I can only cryptically sort of talk. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, I, mean, I sort of, you know, with the help of my uh, sponsor, mentor, you know, uh, there was some payments given, uh, some extra payments given to here, there, and, uh, uh, and everywhere. So as to, and then I felt like, oh, now I deserve, you know, now I deserve uh, money more. So it just gives you that thing. So just sort of, mm. just, you know, is there anything where I'm feeling shame around money, where I'm feeling guilt, or where I'm feeling uh, dishonesty, or I'm feeling not being a part of, uh, if I can clear that out of my vibration, that will sometimes help because if you just hold negativity, or that it'll, it'll add to this thing of I don't deserve more, more, more uh, prosperity and abundance. It also cancel your belief, uh, you, know, uh, you know, this thing of I don't deserve, uh, I'm, I'm not good enough, uh, I don't deserve these opportunities, or I believe in poverty consciousness, or there's a um, there's a, <clears throat> what do you call it, when the, when the country's not doing well, depression, something um, going on? Austerity. Recession. Austerity, recession, that's it, recession. Mm -hmm. There's a recession, cancel my belief in recessions. I mean, because these things are just collective belief systems, uh, do that. You can hold pictures of you being more prosperous. I think um, that there is a switchover. I mean, the money fellowships, the 12-step money fellowship, I think there's a switchover. I, you know, sometimes you can't believe in things which are so great, so you just go halfway uh, with what, what you're able to handle. Um, and so I had, you know, like I, I'd start to do my A work and then I'd have my B work, you know, like my A work is this stuff and my B work is helping my father with his property business, you see. So, so you know, it, it comes there. I find, um, but it is possible. It might take time. I think these belief systems, like can you do what you love and earn enough money? 
Uh, so a lot of these belief systems come in, you know, or if you're spiritual, you should be poor, you know, or you, you shouldn't charge, or, you know, you should, uh, so there are lots of collective belief systems you need to, like the poor I am, the more spiritual I am, you know? mm. so, you know, like if I can't afford the bus fare, that means I'm really, really spiritual, <laughs> so, so all kinds of stuff like that, you know, so you have to sort of cancel these belief systems that you're holding. Um, and make a concerted effort, you know, to, to let go of things. If you see, you know, you need to be like an investigator to what your belief systems are by what's showing up in your life. What's showing up in your life around money is a reflection of your belief systems. You know, mm. like, um, mm. and they're also a reflection of um, the amount of repressed feelings which tie you down to these, these lower vibrations, which are basically vibrations of lack, shame, guilt, and fear. Then you're gonna have, things manifesting in your beliefs around money which represent shame, fear and guilt you know, so you don't deserve, you don't deserve a good job if you're full of shame deserving. so they act like magnets to belief systems which aren't useful so counting the beliefs, filling out the, the repressed feelings uh, doing the spiritual work you know, it's also helpful you know, if you, if you can get to 12 step money fellowships they can be helpful or just, uh, but also, you know, if you associate with people who are <laughs> more prosperous, you get their belief systems. If you hang around millionaires, you know, you start to pick yeah. up their belief yeah. systems. You know, you go, okay, there's opportunities everywhere. Let's get a new brand of yogurt out there in, in, in the supermarket. So let's call it whatever, you know. So, um, you know, you come up with, create, see all the opportunities in life uh, for, for creating money. And if you're doing spiritual work, creating money for the highest good, you know, because you don't want to make, you know, otherwise if you're at a low frequency, it'd be like how you can steal money, which is not really necessarily the best way to go forward, or how you can steal stuff. So you want to be like, okay, I'm going to make a, you know, I come from a food fetch, it'd be like, I mean, what is it, well, yeah, Dragon's Den, isn't it? Like you're going to get a new yogurt, and you're going to put it, you're going to market it to all the supermarkets, so every supermarket sells this new yogurt or this new barbecue sauce or whatever it is. And go make lots of money because there's lots of opportunities. Or what's your passion? Or um, and uh, clear up your belief systems around can you make money around doing your passion? Uh, and and talk to people and um, yeah. So that's the stuff around it. Um, so visualization and just cancel, cancel the belief. Uh, you can also visualize. Visualizations will help to reshift your belief systems. Or you can, uh, or you, you know, hanging out with people who are more prosperous, that will help you to shift your belief systems. Money fellowships will just be, they'll, you'll, they'll have all this collective ideas of deprivation, the money fellowships. Like, uh, I don't deserve more, or, <coughs> or, uh, or it's fun to spend money because you feel happy. Like, when you're feeling bad, let's go on a shopping spree, so don't do that one. You know, it's because that's, uh, you realise that's all. So that's the stuff. Also, as you go as you go to high spiritual levels, mm, when you go to very high spiritual levels, you get to the frequency, which uh, I know some people in this room, where, where you're in the flow states. You don't think about money, and always enough is, is provided for. So that, then you go beyond even the idea of belief systems, cancer belief systems, because you're in these very advanced spiritual states, where everything just flows by, and and you don't even think about money, but everything is provided for always and you know it always will be. So those are very advanced uh, states of consciousness. And if you're in those states, you don't think about money, you're not worried about money, and the universe just always provides what you need when you need it. So those are the, 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 those are the advanced states. So hence the thing of, depending on what level of consciousness you are, it will depend on how you see what money is and how fearful you are around money uh, as well.